Well, good morning and welcome to another Reflection from Christ Church. I'm Jeff Roberts. This morning's thought was sparked off by some words that were shared at our Saturday morning prayer meeting last week. But it was also reinforced by a picture I had as I was praying about all the things going on in my life and in the world at present. The word and the picture was light. And from that, I was thinking about how in the darkest times, we can always trust in the light that Christ brings, the light that is love and compassion and hope. But then I, I thought I would explore further that image of light in scripture. So if you do a standard Google search, other search engines are available. Then you quickly find lists of verses relating to Jesus and light. The most memorable, of course, being when Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And I did think about talking on that. Then I looked at Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 4. Let me read them. Therefore, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. But we have renounced disgraceful, underhanded ways. We refuse to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we would commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Uh, there's so much in this short passage. But one of the messages Paul is getting across is, is that of changed lives, of lives that have a different frame of reference because they have seen the light of Christ, the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ. Lives that have renounced disgraceful ways, renounced the use of cunning and deceit. Lives that are different. Verse 6 again. For God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And it's that image of the light Christ's glory shining in our hearts that just came across so powerfully. Do we stop and think enough about the glory of Christ, the transformational glory? Because if we look on the light of Christ, then we want to show and share that light. I remember a story from our pastor in Cambridge, the story of a house with amazing roof lights and the sun shining down through them. But a house with all the curtains drawn and windows shuttered everywhere else. So the light shone into the house, but never spilled out, was never visible beyond the four walls. And that's the challenge. If we have that light of the gospel of the glory of Christ shining into our hearts, then we must draw the metaphorical curtains and open the shutters so that the glorious light of the gospel shines out from us into the world that we inhabit, that all may come to know the glory of the risen Christ and come to him as Lord and Savior. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in Christ. We thank you that you are the transformational light of the world. Help us, Lord, to know again the awe and wonder of the glorious light of the gospel and to be transformed in our lives through the power of the Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Help us to live lives that give glory to you and help others come to know the joy and peace 
of your perfect love. Amen. There are so many songs I thought of and could have chosen, but I've gone for Light of the World, Here I Am to Worship. And the version I've chosen is by Tim Hughes, and it's got some great graphics in it as well. Have a blessed day and a great week. God bless you.